वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला दिस मॉड्यूल वी आर कवरिंग एल जी बी टी इन फिल्म इन दिस मॉड्यूल यू विल बी ब्रीफ्ड अबाउट वॉट एल जी बी टी इज वॉट इज सेक्शुअल माइनॉरिटीज वॉट वी मीन बाय ऑल्टरनेटिव सेक्शुअलिटीज alternative sexuality is that group of people who practice whose practice of sexuality is different that means the sexual minorities are people who are different in their sexual orientation in their sexual identities in their sexual practices from the people of the general majority from the society in general you will also be briefed about the prejudices that the community holds against this sexual minority the prejudices that have been shown in films against these minorities you will also be shown you will also be briefed about how the government the epic court has worked towards the positive inclusion of these sexual minorities and not just the government it we have also found that there are certain filmmakers who have been working in this direction and who have been helping in removing the prejudices against this once you have finished this module you should be able to explain what lgbt means you should be able to explain what sexual minorities are what is alternative sexuality and you should be able to know how the films have been portraying the prejudices against the sexual minorities you should also be able to know what the society holds against these sexual minorities and finally you should be able to know what the government has been doing in this direction and what certain some of the filmmakers have been doing in the direction of bringing about social inclusion bringing in this sexual minority into the general streamline of people of living so we can say that sexual minorities are a group whose sexual identity orientation or practices differ from the majority of the surrounding society generally sexual minorities comprise lesbians gays bisexuals and transgenders l stands for lesbians who are female homosexuals a female who experiences romantic love or sexual attraction to other females the term lesbian is also to used to express sex, sexual identity or sexual behavior regardless of sexual orientation or as an adjective to characterize or associate nouns with female homosexuality or same sex attractions g stands for gay male who is attracted romantically sexually or emotionally to another male b stands for bisexual who is a romant who is romantically sexually and or emotionally attracted to people of their own gender and to the other gender t stands for transgender which is an umbrella term used to describe people who seek gender identity their internal feeling of being male female or transgender or a gender expression differs from that which is associated with that of their birth sex many transgender people live part time or full time in another gender some transgender people feel that they exist not within one of the two standard gender categories but rather somewhere between and beyond or outside one of those genders gender people can be as identified as transsexuals transvestites or 
another gender identity. After getting to know what LGBT people, let us know what the government and judiciary have been doing to improve their status and to increase the acceptance of these groups in societies across the world. In 20, on 26 June 2015, the US Supreme Court legalized the same-sex marriages across the country. The US Supreme Court declared that same-sex couples have a right to marry anywhere in their country. In India, homosexuality is a taboo that still prevails, but initiatives have been taken by the judiciary as well as the parliament to change its condition. On 15th April 2014, the Apex Court, the Supreme Court in India created the third gender status for transgender. They were forced to write female or male against their gender earlier. The court clarified that, that its verdict pertains only to eunuchs and not to other sections of the societies like gays, lesbians, bisexuals, who are also considered under the umbrella term transgenders. With this landmark decision, India becomes the first country to recognize transgenders as a third gender. The Supreme Court also added that the third gender people would be considered as OBCs and would be given educational and employment reservations as OBCs. There were several steps taken for the rights of gays and lesbians in 2009 by Delhi High Court, but the Supreme Court ruled it out. This was opposed by many people and Bollywood in common. Several revolutionary steps taken by the people in the, in the recent times to promote awareness about gay and lesbian rights in, indicate that in future things will change for better for these communities. Indian cinema's relationship with LGBT. Homophobia is prevalent in India. LGBT community often faces a tremendous amount of hostility and exclusion and discrimination in various parts of the society. However, after the steps taken by the government and judiciary in recent years, the outlook towards the community seems to have changed slightly. In mainstream and alternative cinema of today, currently the LGBT are being depicted in positive manner. Traditionally, mainstream cinema adopted an attitude of dissent, mockery, sarcasm, comic and criminal towards LGBT community, whereas alternative cinema confined to film festivals and a handful selected few group of viewers depicted them in more realistic manner and was successful in raising, expressing and suggesting possible solutions to the manner their problems in a more effective manner as compared to the mainstream cinema. Nowadays, depiction of and discussion in LGBT in the Indian news media and Indian cinema have increased and this growing awareness is also trying to change the mindset of the people towards them. In Indian cinema, transgenders were shown in the form of eunuchs. The cinema generally showed eunuchs invading homes of women who had given birth to a male child. A few films tried to focus on the conflicts and politics of their colonized living. It is now quite trendy to read Bollywood films as gay or queer. Hoshang Machin mentions the Andaz of 1949 and Sangam 1964 love triangles where the real love plot is friendship between two heroes. The main lead is there only to lessen the homosexual sting. Shohim Ghosh reads Dosti 1964 as dealing with intense friendship beyond two people and two poor and physical disabled men who struggle to survive in the city an allegory of homosexual love expressed through the metaphor of physical disability. In the Hindi film Mast Kalandar 1981, the first gay character Piku was introduced as a new generation gangster. In Shole 1975, one of the inmates openly comments at other men illuminating his fondness for men. This small sidebar was overlooked by most or perhaps not understood. 
The keen observers, however, got it. In the regional cinema, the depiction of LGBT started early compared to the Hindi film industry. In 1978, a Malayalam film reference, gave reference to a lesbian was made for the first time. The obsessive love of a woman for a dancer was depicted by the director. In the last 20 years or so, the Indian cinema seems to have taken LGBT more seriously as it has shown them in different positive roles, thus making an effort to change the mindset of the common people. The eunuchs representation has started way back by the same sex depiction started a bit late. But in 1982, Marathi film Umbartha in an implicit way, showed on screen a lesbian relationship between two prisoners of a remand home. Bengali cinema industry has contributed in breaking the stereotyping towards LGBT and has been coming up with various films on them regularly. In 1998, Deepa Mehta's Fire turned out to be a groundbreaking film in the mainstream cinema. Before fire, there was no widely available images of the same-sex love in modern Indian culture. Fire turned out to be the watershed film and influenced many directors to come up with a broader picture of what lesbian means within Indian culture. It was a rare event to discover a positive image for lesbians of Indian descent, whether living in India or in the diasporic South Asian community. Fire had to face a lot of controversies and was unacceptable by different groups of Indians. The film was first premiered at the Toronto Film Festival in 1996 and in India it was released in 1998. The uncut version of the film was released. The story of the film revolved around a New Delhi based family where two sisters-in-law, Sita and Radha, were trapped in loveless marriages. As the two women became friends, their relationship developed into a sexual one. The film was first widely distributed film to depict same-sex love between women in India. It was in more than one ways a path-breaking film because the women experienced a happy ending. Deepa Mehta on many occasions had said that fire was not about only the sexual relation between two women, but more of emotional bonding, which came out when loneliness was there. Fire is all about unsatisfying heterosexual relationships and a, select, a reflection of traditional Indian marriage rather than an affirmation of lesbianism. The next film on lesbians came in 2004. Girlfriend was directed by an Indian director Four decades cross-dressing of both men and women has been a regular feature in popular Indian films. Girlfriend was also not accepted by the different groups in India like fire. The controversy became more as lesbian groups also protested against it on the grounds of its stereotypical and homophobic depiction of lesbianism which prevails in the country. The next film directed by Pulapali portrayed the love story of two village girls. In 2004, a Malayalam film depicted the natural love that was between two girls, unlike fire, where lesbianism rose, arose because heterosexual relationships didn't work out. The director said in an interview that she wanted to avoid the stereotypes about lesbians in films such as Fire and Girlfriend and instead wanted the journey to depict a rural experience and a local story as opposed to an urban one. Meera Nair's Kama Sutra was adapted from the book in 1996 that illustrated intimacy between women. In 2000, Uttara, a Bengali film by poet Buddhadev Dasgupta depicted violence and chaos in a quiet village in Purulia district in Bengal with the undertone of hemorotic theme. In Bengali films, LGBT are being cast in lead roles and several films have been made on this subject. The contribution from Bengali film deserves a special mention in this field. Films, films like Chitrangada, Memories of March and many more have raised the subject of homosexuality with sensitivity. 
Apart from Fire and The Journey, no commercial films tried to portray lesbians in a positive light and in lead roles. To get more acceptance, we need to have more films on this subject. Now we will discuss as to how different films in alternative cinema describe the LGBT. The illustration is more serious and suggests possible solutions of the different problems brought in films in more effective manner as compared to the mainstream cinema. In the same year as Fire, Bomb Gay 1996, a 12-minute gem of a short film raised questions related to complex gay identity. Released in USA and Britain, Chutney Popcorn 1999 and Nina's Heavenly Delights 2006 depicted stories about Indian lesbians. In Kiran Meets Karen 2008, the story revolves around a famous Bollywood actress Kiran who meets a lesbian journalist Karen. Other films in form of shorts, documentaries and poetries tried to understand the LGBT movement and a few others among those which need special mention are Teri Ki Lakir, Teen Diware, My Brother Nikhil, Thang, Touch, Touch of Pink, Stag, Water, Yours Emotionally, Piku Bhalo Ache, Happy Hookers, I Can't Think Straight. Undoubtedly, cinema is the best thing to have happened to LGBT movement in India. Doubted, ridiculed and criminalized for centuries, the sexual minorities stepped out from the shadow of invisibility after 2000 to claim their rightful place in popular culture. Now let us discuss about the directors who have worked hard to change the mindset of the people and to help the LGBT community find a recognition in the society. So far we have discussed as to how the Indian cinema is dealing with the LGBT theme in various distinctive ways. With the raw start from fire to humor as a defense mechanism in Mango Shuffle 2002 and from portraying homophobic humor in Kal Ho Na Ho, Dostana, Bombay Talkies to moving towards mainstream mentions like Turning 30, Honeymoon Travels Private Limited 2007, Fashion, Cinema has dealt with LGBT theme in different ways. Now we will discuss a few directors who have contributed immensely in this area. Sridhar Rangayan is an Indian filmmaker whose contributions to the genre have been immense. His LGBT films like The Pink Mirror 2006 and Yours Emotionally 2007 have been considered path-breaking works due to their realistic and sympathetic portrayal of the largely closeted Indian gay community. The Indian censor board banned this film, The Pink Mirror in the country. The ban is still in order. He has contributed enormously as a gay activist and worked towards the upliftment of the alternative sexuality in India. His films won many awards in India as well as abroad. In one of his in interviews with India Real Time, he said, Things have definitely changed over the last couple of years. In the last decade, you have seen films coming up which have been sensitive. But I think it's not enough. What is interesting in Bombay Talkies is that people have gone away from the stereotypes. There are two men living out of their lives. There is no caricature, it does touch your heart. But I have just one small point. What is Sakib's character, the homebreaker at the end of it? If you are a happy gay man, it would be great. As a filmmaker, I love the film, but as an activist, activist I just feel it sets things back for us in many years. Director Onir is the only high-profile Bollywood figure to publicly acknowledge his sexuality. My Brother Nikhil 2005 is his first film as a director which dealt with the Goan government's harsh treatment of AIDS patients in the 1980s and the stigma attached to them. It won several awards in different LGBT film, film festivals. His other film in 2011, I Am, consists of four short films exploring themes as single motherhood, displacement, child abuse and same-sex relationships won several awards including the National Award for Best Hindi Film and Best Lyrics. Now we will learn about 
the LGBT icon in India, a Bengali director who spent his life as an open homosexual person and chose transgender lifestyle during his later years. Rituparna Ghosh was one of the most acclaimed film directors of India. An admirer of Satyajit Ray, Ghosh's early films explored Bengali middle class aspirations and desires, followed by a second phase of bilingual dramas featuring Hindi movie celebrities as stars. In the third interrupted leg of his film making journey, he openly pushed envelope on the representation of sexuality on the screen by playing gay or transsexual characters in movies directed by him and his peers. He won many awards and worked a lot for LGBT community. His films glorified your womanhood and sensitively portrayed women's lives, feelings and sufferings. The films generally were critically acclaimed and commercially successful. One of his beautiful works in Bengali is the film Chitra Chitrangada. 2012, which tells the story of a choreographer who is struggling with his gender identity. These three directors have made or are making significant contribution towards changing the mindset of people about LGBT. There are several other directors who are also giving their best in this film. Sanjay Nag, whose memoirs of March in 2010 was a beautiful story of reconciliation starring Rituparna Ghosh. Kaushik Ganguly's Bengali film about a gay director's obsession for his bisexual cinematographer and so on. The cinema industry is trying their best to bring acceptance in society for LGBT community. Their efforts have started showing some results but still it is a long way to go. Earlier we had discussed LGBT films in general, now we will see the films coming under different segments. The three sections are as protagonist or entertainer or just a guest appearance. Protagonist In Hindi films like Fire, Girlfriend, Tamanna, Darmian, Shabnam Mossi, My Brother Nikhil, the LGBT characters were in lead roles and the story revolved around an LGBT theme. Duno E Na Jane Kyo is the first film in the history of Indian cinema portraying a gay relationship openly between two men. Regional films like The Journey, Memories in March, Chitrangada also portrayed the LGBT theme in an explicit manner. Yours Emotionally, 68 Pages, The Pink Mirror are also movies made on this subject. Entertainer, the most common portrayal of LGBT films came in the form of entertainers. Ever since transgenders were first introduced to Indian cinema, they have been shown as entertainers brought into the scene by, to lighten the mood or make people laugh. The films like Mene Pyar Kiya, Chamatkar, Masti, Pyar Kiya to Darna Kya, Ab Tak Chappan, Kya Cool Hai Hum have such characters. The third category is a guest appearance, where anyone from LGBT community enters the film for one shot or several shots with a particular purpose and sometimes helps to resolve an issue as well. Films like Amar Akbar Anthony, Maine Tojko Dil Diya, Fashion, Page 3, Mughle Azam, Bombay are examples. After getting an idea as to how the community is being portrayed by the cinema industry, let us now move on to the next section which will brief you about the various controversies related to films under this theme. Rig Veda, one of the four sacred texts of Hinduism, says Vikruti evam prakriti, what seems unnatural is also natural, which some scholars believe recognizes the cyclical constancy of homosexual, transsexual dimensions of human life like all forms of universal diversities. Still in India, it is largely in the closet and its ancient laws criminalize homosexuality to a great extent. Fire released in 1996 was a groundbreaking film which portrayed lesbians and faced troubles after its release. Another film, Duno E Na Jane Kyo, in 2010 too, received a lot of flack by the way it showed relationships. Very few films are being accepted by, by 
Indians on LGBT themes. In every LGBT film, some issues which are contrary to the cultural norms are portrayed and as a result, LGBT films get banned in India. Unfreedom is a story of a young girl who resists a forced arranged marriage to unite with her lesbian partner. The, unit, the nudity and lovemaking scenes of the female protagonist make the censor board ban the film in, nine, in the year 2015. The controversies related to films in LGBT ignite the society to get into a rage resulting in a ban which shows that the society is not prepared to fully accept LGBT issue today. LGBT in modern India. Till now we have studied LGBT's depictions in cinema and controversies related to it. Now in the last section we will see how India is changing and homosexuality which is still implicit in society is moving towards becoming explicit. After a number of movements and different protests in 2014, the Supreme Court introduced the third gender which was a benchmark decision. After this decision, the acceptance of LGBT in society increased and now we can see the transgenders in various places in good jobs. In 2014, a television news station recruited the country's first transgen transgender news anchor after almost five months of the apex court's decision. In 2015, the first lesbian ad advertisement was launched in India, which went viral on social networking sites. Now we can see parents accepting the sexual orientation of their children. A mother posting a matrimonial advertisement in a leading ad newspaper for her gay son is an example of the change. To sum up, we can say that India has gone a long way in the direction towards the positive inclusion of the LGBT community. But it has to work or go a much longer way. Yes, we can say that the Apex Court, the decisions of the Supreme Court has changed the direction of the acceptance of this community to a great extent. The court decision of 2014 has made the society, the Indians, more receptive, more understanding towards this community, though it is only towards one community amongst them, that is the eunuchs. We cannot in any way trivialize the role of the Indian cinema, the films that the, the filmmakers which have helped in the change in the mindset of the Indian community. But yes, we have to accept the fact that there is still a long way to go. We have to go, we have to go in for this social inclusion much further and it will be the films, it will be the media which has, will be helping the society in coming about with this change. Thank you.